Hello and hi everyone. You are watching Rafi the Grammarian. In the last session, we discussed sentences and its types, and phrases and its types, and clauses and its types. We know what is phrase and what is clause. Phrase is actually a group of words which is not giving a meaningful in it, and a clause. It is also a group of words which has a subject and a predicate, right? But it is also a meaningless sentence, right? A part of a sentence. So we have three types of phrases and three types of clauses: noun phrase, adjective phrase, adverb phrase, and in clauses, noun clause, adjective clause, and adverb clause. First one, noun phrase. The definition for noun phrase is a group of words which does a work of a noun. So it is actually very easy. A phrase which is doing a work of a noun. It is called noun phrase. Right. An example. I expect to win the match. Right. Here, I is a subject. Expect verb to win the match is considered as. noun phrase why because here we have group of words but it doesn't have any subject and a predicate so it is called noun phrase and even it is actually started with the infinitive to right so it is called noun phrase it is a group of words it has a group of words but it does not have a subject and a predicate but it is doing a work of a noun so this is called noun phrase second example i want to listen music so the same here i is a subject want verb to listen music is a noun phrase np because it doesn't have any subject and a predicate so this is called noun phrase i hope you understand and we are going to see noun class and how it is uh, be different from phrase we are going to apply the same definition for the class 2 a group of words which does a work of a noun but already we know the difference between phrase and class right without knowing a meaning for a meaning of phrase and class is highly impossible to know these things right a group of words which does a work of a noun example i'm going to modify the phrase which is given uh, before i'm going to modify it in the class i expect i have given over there i expect to win the match here i'm going to modify the 
phrase into clause. I expect that. I'm adding conjunction. So conjunction is playing vital role in clause. Please no conjunctions. Without conjunction, we may not learn clauses. I expect that I shall win the match. So now we have a subject and a verb, right? Now we have a subject and a verb, and we have applied conjunction to. So that I shall win the match is considered as noun class. A group of words which has a subject and predicate, and it is doing a work of a noun. So it is called noun class. तो उन्हें पूरी चीज़ को नहीं करना होगा। इधर कुमारी पाते एग्जाम्पल उन्हें पाते क्या ना? I expect to win the match। अगर उनके फ्रेंड्स का नाम पाते हों, आधे लंदर to win the match उन्हें पता है ना उन सब्जेक्ट उनके यहाँ तो फोर उनके यहाँ तो। But here is another different। I expect that I shall win the match। अगर पार्टिकुलर सेंटेंस ना मैं ना पन रहा हूँ ना, सब्जेक्ट उन फोर को ना मैं ऐड करनी I expecting that the same thing I want to know that that I shall win the match. And the question is full full out. That is, where is that I shall win the match? I think that it is not meaningful. Classes there are two types. We have two types of classes. One is dependent and one is independent. Right. And I'll tell you what is independent and what is dependent. Here we have that I shall win the match. It is added by a conjunction, so it is called dependent clause, right? It is dependent. It will not uh, survive independently. But if you omit, if you remove the that the conjunction, the remaining is I shall win the match. This is giving the whole uh, meaning. We can make a meaning. So clause is nothing but. A independent clause is nothing but a sentence, a fulfilled sentence. इधर that I shall in the match of being रहते noun clause आऊँ, नमो अदर dependent clause आऊँ सुन रहा हूँ. That तो इल्ला नमो वर sentence है, अदर I shall in the match of being रहते एक complete sentence. अदर वंदे नमो independent clause है नमो सुन रहा हूँ. Fine. तो इधर पुरी जरूर नहीं करें. इपो फ्रेस को क्लास को ना डिफरेंस हम लोग के तरीके को ये तो नाम फ्रेस उनसे बोल रहा हूँ ये तो नाम है क्लास उनसे बोल रहा हूँ देखते ओके लेट अस मूव मूव तू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक नाउ एडजेक्टिव फ्रेस In the shop, 
is my cell is my cell so here we have the subject the boy in the shop is actually considered as adjective phrase this is actually reminding sentence right the boy in the shop is my friend i am i am actually qualifying the particular noun the boy it is a noun i am giving an extra information about the noun in the shop the boy in the shop ஒரு பையன் வந்து நின்றுட்டு இருக்கான் ஒரு கடையில் இருக்கான்னு வச்சுக்கோங்க அந்த கடையில் இருக்கிற பையனை நான் வந்து பாயிண்ட் அவுட் பண்ணும் போது நான் யாருங்கிறத பர்டிகுலராக நான் சொல்ல போகும்போது ஒரு எக்ஸ்ட்ரா இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் வந்து கொடுக்க வேண்டியது இருக்கு எந்த பையன் அங்கே நாலஞ்சு பசங்க நிற்கிறாங்க அப்படின்னா அதில் எந்த பையன் நான் சொல்லும் போது ஐ ஆம் கிவிங் த குவாலிட்டி ஆஃப் அண்ட் ஆம் ரைட் ஸோ த பாய் இன் த ஷாப் இஸ் மை ஃப்ரெண்ட் அந்த கடையில் இருக்கிற பையன் என்னோட ஃப்ரெண்ட் அப்படின்னு நான் சொல்கிறேன் சரிங்களா இதுல இந்த ஷாப் அப்படிங்கிறது இந்த பர்டிகுலர் நவுனை வந்து கிளாரிஃபை பண்றதுனால திஸ் இஸ் கால் அட்ஜெக்டிவ் ஃப்ரேஸ் இந்த இந்த ஷாப் அப்படிங்கிறது அட்ஜெக்டிவ் ஃப்ரேஸ் நம்ம கன்சிடர் பண்றோம் பிகாஸ் இட் ஹேஸ் குரூப் ஆஃப் வேர்ட்ஸ் பட் இட் டசன்ட் ஹாவ் எனி சப்ஜெக்ட் அண்ட் பிடிகேட் அண்ட் இட் இஸ் அ டிபெண்ட் ஃப்ரேஸ் ரைட் சாரி டிபெண்ட் ஃப்ரேஸ் next should i write this the umbrella with the broken handle is yours so this was the second example the umbrella with the broken handle is yours here the umbrella is a subject with the broken handle is considered as adjective phrase that is because it is qualifying the subject umbrella right with the broken handle and the odanjirukku and the odanjirukra koda vandu pathina unnodadu appadina solumbodu na and the extra information vandu kudukuren endha koda which umbrella and the nalanji ஒன்னு <laughs> so here with the broken handle is doing the work of a adjective so it is called adjective phrase it has a group of words but it does not have any subject under predicate so it is called phrase it is qualifying the umbrella noun so it becomes adjective phrase nalla nyabu vechukonga noun ah qualify pandradhu da adjective இங்க பர்டிகுலர் நவுன வந்து நான் குவாலிஃபை பண்றேன் அதோட பண்பு பண்புன்னு நான் சொல்லுவோம்ல அது எந்த பண்புல இருக்கு அப்படிங்கிறது அது உடஞ்சிருக்கா உடையாம இருக்கா அப்படிங்கறதெல்லாம் சொல்றது வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா இல்ல கருப்பா இருக்கா வெள்ளையா இருக்கா இதெல்லாம் சொல்றது வந்து அட்ஜெக்ட் இல்ல பெருசா இருக்கா சின்னதா இருக்கா அது எல்லாத்தையும் அதோட குவாலிட்டி அதோட எப்படி சொல்றது குணாதிசயத்தை சொல்றது வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா அட்ஜெக்ட் இந்த அம்பிரெல்லா 
with the broken handle is yours. Here, with the broken handle is considered as adjective phrase. I hope you understand this. Let me move to the next topic. Now, adjective class. A group of words which does a work of an adjective. So now I'm going to modify the phrase into clause. Let us see how. First one, the boy. There I have given the boy in the shop. I'm going to modify it slightly. The boy. Who is in the shop? Is my friend. Meaning is almost same. The difference is I am including the subject and the verb so it becomes class here who is considered as a relative pronoun but it is acting as a noun here we have verb is and then the remaining sentence so who is in the shop is considered as adjective class ac right the class of being the one who is subject to verb go into kandipa the verb no of being so if you have a group of words meaningful unit are so if you have a group of words we will see the adjective we will see the three of them the boy who is in the shop if you have a friend 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 சரிங்களா அப்போ எந்த பையங்கிறத நான் பத்தி நான் வந்து ஸ்ட்ரெஸ் பண்ணும் போது இட் பிகம்ஸ் அன் அப்செக்ட் அப்போ அந்த பையன் இந்த கடையில் நிற்கிற பையன் தான் என்னோட ஃப்ரெண்டு அப்படின்னு நான் சொல்லும் போது இட் இஸ் அ நான் பாலிஃபையர் சரிங்களா ஸோ இட் கன்சிடர் ஹேஸ் அப்செக்டிவ் கிளாஸ் இட் ஹேஸ் அ சப்ஜெக்ட் அண்ட் இட் ஹேஸ் அ வேர்க் ரைட் அண்ட் இட் இஸ் டூயிங் அ வேர்க் ஆஃப் அ வேர்க் ஆஃப் அண்ட் adjective so it is called adjective class in the same example second example the umbrella which has a broken a broken handle is yours so here i am giving red pen on which which has a broken handle is yours so here which has a broken handle is acting as a adjective class because it has a group of words and it has a subject and it has a verb and it is doing the work of an adjective so it is called adjective class so hope you understand 
I should not take the mother compare Pani Pandana and now home Pina and the confusion on the Rope Rikar. Compare a Popo Panico in the sentence and now the sentence and another compare Pani Panada and the Nabu Nico. In a Tanitania, I think participating of Pina, Elio Mutriam Pedro. So please compare and learn. Now, adverb phrase the same definition a group of words which does work often First of all, what is adverb? Adverb is giving an extra information about a verb. Something is adding up to the verb. Mostly adjective, uh, adding an with the adjective is called adverb. If for example, fast, it is an adjective. If we are adding an with the fast, fastly, it becomes an adverb. And it answers the questions when, where, and uh, how. Right. Example I walk in the evening. Here, I is a subject. Walk is a verb and in the evening is considered as adverb phrase. Right. Because it has a group of words and it is indicating the time adverb here, right? When it is happened. And purely it is doing work of an adverb. So it is called adverb phrase. It doesn't have any subject and predicate. Keep it in your mind. So, in the evening is considered as adverb phrase. Secondly, They rested at night. They rested at night. Here, they is a subject, rested, verb, at night. It is considered as adverb phrase. Because it has group of words but it doesn't have any subject and predicate and it is actually doing a work of an adverb so it is called adverb phrase hope you understand next adverb class adverb class Definition is actually same. Let us see how the phrase is go, how the phrase is modifying itself as class. I walk when evening. I walk when evening comes. So here, I is a subject, walk, verb, 
and I am adding when to uh, indicate it as a uh, time adverbial. So when evening comes, consider as adverb clause. So you can consider when as a uh, subject. Sorry, when evening as a subject and comes as verb. Here, when is a conjunction. It is acting as a relative pronoun. Uh, here, we have evening as a subject and comes as a verb. And it is doing uh, work of an adverb. So, it is called adverb class because we have subject and the verb in the class. Next. If you work hard, if you work hard, you will pass. If you work hard, you will pass. Here, if you work hard is adverb phrase. Because it has a group of words and it has subject and the verb and it is doing a verb of an adverb. Right. But it is not giving a meaningful unit. It is, it is not a meaningful unit. So, if you work hard is considered as adverb clause. I'm sorry. Adverb clause. So I hope you understand. And next, pass of pitch. We have eight parts of speech in English grammar. They are na, va, si, n for noun, a for adjective, p for pronoun, v for Verb A for adverb P for preposition C for conjunction and I for interjection. So these are the eight parts of speech and let us see in the next class. Thank you.